Hi kinders, welcome back. We're going to be working in our social studies book booklet again. If you have this, you're going to need to go get it. If you don't have it, remember, we can always use our blue journal. Just make sure you turn to the next blank page in your blue journal. So go get the materials you need. You're going to need your journal or if you have your workbook, you're going to need your workbook and you're going to need something to write with. What did I do with my pen? I don't I'm going to use a blue pen. All right, are you ready? So here is our textbook that Mrs. Cito is going to read to you. And you can read along with me. How do I get along with others? So this is about making good choices and making friends and how to get along. Get along means um, being okay with each other, being happy with each other, playing with each other. All of that is getting along. Getting along means you're, you're a good listener. And getting along means you take turns. You have to take turns because if you're always first and you always get to do everything and your friends don't get a turn, well, then that's not getting along. And most likely they wanna, won't want to play with you anymore. So all these friends, do they look like they're getting along? They do. Look how happy their faces are. So they must be playing a game together. So the first thing you need to do to get along is you need to talk. Talking is very important. I talk when it's my turn. And look, these two friends, they want to turn. How can you tell that they want to turn? How does the teacher know that these two friends want to turn? That's right, they raise their hand. I do not talk while others are talking. We don't want to interrupt when someone is talking because then they don't get to say all their important words. If you want someone to listen to all your important words, you have to make sure that you give them time to finish talking first. In class, I raise my hand, then I can answer questions or ask questions. Another really important thing, just as important as talking, is listening. I listen while others talk. We give them time to say all their important words before we talk. How am I a good listener? I face the person talking to me. Do you see how all these friends are looking at her? that she knows that you're listening. If you turn your head over here and you start drawing over here or you run away, how will she feel? She'll feel like you're not listening. And listening is really important to get it in the law. I only talk when they're done. We make sure that they finish all their important words. Taking turns. I think taking turns is probably the hardest thing for a kindergartner. It's not just hard for a kindergartner. I think it's hard for a kindergarten teacher. Have you guys ever went to like Disneyland or Great America and you have to wait in that super duper long line? Well, you're waiting your turn and that waiting is really hard, but you guys can do it. I take turns with others. Sometimes I wait in the line. I get to go and then you get to go. This helps us get along. It does help us get along because if you don't wait your turn and you cut in line in front of people, Will that make people want to spend time with you? Would that make them want to be your friend? No, that's not getting along. Another really important thing is making choices. Now, we talk a lot in kindergarten about making good choices, and you kinders are probably the best at it. I make good choices. I help friends who are hurt. You see this little boy? He sees that this little girl fell down, and he's helping her. That is a good choice. If I make a mess, I clean it up. We all make a mess when we're doing art or coloring or cutting out, but we clean it up. That's a good choice. What other choices do I make? I want you to think about the choices you make. What other good choices do you make? Now, if you have your social studies workbook, this is Cito needs a bigger desk to put on my things. I want you to turn to page 19. Now, if you don't have it, it's okay. We're going to do this together anyways. It says, I make good choices. Which are good choices? Circle the picture. That's a good choice. So let's look at this. We have a little boy with his arms crossed. That already tells me, hmm, he's probably not happy. He doesn't look like he wants to clean up. And this little boy is trying, starting to clean up. Is he making a good choice? No. He needs to clean up. Remember, if you make a mess, you have to clean it up. Now, look at this one. It looks like he's giving this little boy one of the blocks. He's sharing. Is that a good choice? Yes, sharing is always a good choice. Oh, no. Let's look at this one. 
he looks like he's angry. Look at he put his hand in the fist, two fists, and then he's pushing him on the head. Is it okay to put your hands on other people? Do you think he likes him pushing him away? No, this is not a good choice, huh, boys and girls? How about this little boy? It looks like he's wiping down the counter. Is that a good choice? Yes, he's helping. That is a good choice. Uh-oh. Remember how important talking is? Does it look like these two are talking? No, it doesn't look like they're talking. How can you get along if you don't talk? So that is not a good choice. How about these two? They're sharing a book and they look like they're enjoying each other. Is that a good choice? Yes, these two are making good choices. All right, this page, I want you to draw, so this is on the playground and this is a picture at home. So we're gonna do the playground. I want you to think of a time that you went to the park or if you were a preschool or EDCC when you were on the playground, that you made a good choice. Something that you did that was a good choice. So if you don't have this, you don't have to do it here. You can get your journal and open to the next blank page. Right here is my next blank page. And I want you to think of a time you made a good choice. And I want you to write. Tell me what you did. I waited in line for the slide. That's something that Mrs. Cito did. That was a good choice. And I can draw a picture of me waiting in line for the slide right here. There's a lot of people waiting in line. I want you to think of a time that you made a good choice. Did you wait in line for a slide? Did you help someone that fell on the playground? So if you're doing it in your workbook, you're gonna do it on page 20. If you're not, you're gonna do it on the next blank page of your journal. Wow, Kinders, I can't wait to see what good choices you made. I bet it's hard because you guys make such good choices every day. But pick one thing that you did that you remember on the playground or at the park that was a really good choice. All right, Kinders, I'll see you next time. Bye.